sad, abandoned, and lonely. That's what forlorn means, and that's what we found when we headed up into the forlorn mountains. Seek as we might, all that we found was a bleak, desolate landscape void of anything other than an ogre having nightmarish dreams. So we were forced to turn back and head to an equally miserable place, the Great Swamp. What'll we find there? Mosquitoes? Creepy things hiding underwater? There's no telling other than adventure. Surely we'll find plenty of that. Adventure seekers, come along. It's time now to return to Dragon of Doom. Murky brown water, sucking mud and tall reeds filled with clouds of whining mosquitoes, stretch away into the vast distances of the great swamp. Bah! We'll never find your way through this mess, you exclaim angrily. Of course we will. I used to come here every day gathering lotus bulbs, says Saffron, as she strides confidently into the swamp. Don't worry, I know the way. You hack the tall weeds with your staff. Somehow, it doesn't seem right that you, a graduate magic user and almost an adult, should be led by a little girl and her man-eating cat. It's, it's downright embarrassing. Morgan, Hinoki links gently. The wise person accepts help when he needs it from wherever it is offered. And, and I'm not a little girl, Saffron declares indignantly. If you think you're so wonderful, Mr. Almost Grown-Up Magic User, well, you can guide us yourself. Can't I think of anything without you two jumping all over me? The next thing I know, Grundon will be telling me what to do. And what's so hard about guiding? I'll bet I'll do just fine. And pushing your way to the front, you set off in a new direction. Morgan, chides Hinoki, but you do not answer. Saffron follows reluctantly. All day long, you trudge from one mound of mud to the next until you're forced to admit that you're hopelessly lost. What do I do now? You groan inwardly as you sink wearily down onto a tuft of grass. You could come and rescue me, whispers an unknown voice inside your head. <laughs> oh no, not another one, you moan, holding your aching head. It's coming from over here. Off to the right, says Hinoki, as he spreads his wings and flaps upward. Morgan, come quickly, he urges. Pulling yourself up, you slog through the scummy waters towards Hinoki's voice, with saffron splashing alongside you. As you part a curtain of marsh grass, you see an amazing sight. There, sprawled in the mud, is a great feathered serpent, a kawada. Although you've heard of them, you've never seen one before. You know they're extremely powerful, both in magic and in strength. It's hard to imagine one being hurt. Yet, here lies one before you, sprawled helplessly in the mud. Slipping to the quad aside, Saffron places a slender arm under its body and cradles its head in her lap. Stroking the dull scales, she asks, Can you tell us what happened? It was done by a magic user, one whose soul and mind are black and bent, groans the Kawadal. I was patrolling the swamp. It is part of the territory I protect. When I felt his thoughts, I challenged him and asked him his purpose and his destination, as is my right. Instead of answering, he attacked me mentally. I was stunned, the Kawadal goes on. But I protected myself, and then we fought. I have never met anyone whose strength equals mine. Indeed, he was stronger. At last, he laughed and left me for dead, knowing I was too weak to call for help or fly away. Never in my lifetime have I encountered such strength or felt such evil. You must help me to prevent this evil magic user from carrying out his plans. He means to destroy the world. <laughs> Mosquitoes. Check. Beasties lurking in the deep. Check. On Uncle Zed's trail? Well, we're on his heels, so check. Adventure? Check, check, and check. Only one thing left to check off our list. Which path shall we take next? Should we stick around and help the Kawada, or is there nothing more we can do for the Kawada? Should we press on after Uncle Zed? Or should we take Morgan deep into the reeds and beat the snot out of him until he grows up a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> Friends, which path shall we take? The choice is yours. Comment below or wait for the poll later this week in stories and do please let me know just where will our adventure go. The choice is yours. <laughs>